So as a platoon leader, I create the plan, I pitch the op board, and I'm in control of the platoon during the actual live fire, meaning I'm telling tanks where to go, where they need to push up farther, where they need to look for extra targets, and talking to the commander and acting as a liaison between hire and the platoon. Today we're doing the platoon live fire exercise to certify our platoon leaders and our platoon sergeants and to make sure the commander has his confidence in us. So on each run we have a whole platoon going out, that's four tanks, 16 soldiers, but they're not the only ones working at the time. Like I said, we got Vader platoon shooting mortars at the same time, as well as the commander and the battalion commander moving out between us. So the gunnery focuses on the crew of the tank itself. It's one tank only. Now the platoon live fire focuses on the dynamics between the whole platoon and moving, maneuvering all four tanks at once and the teamwork and the planning that goes into that. The platoon leader is important because it has a fresh pair of eyes that the platoon sergeant might not have. He's got all the experience. Platoon leader has the schoolhouse by the book standard. I think a certain amount of trust is just implicit with rank. People trust, you know, I trust my section sergeants that they're going to be up to a staff sergeant's job. He's competent, good NCO. And I think a lot of it comes from that. But beyond that, I think it's demonstrated competence and fairness and honesty. And that's pretty much what the platoon live fire is really for, is for instilling trust.